let me just ask you a question. If you had a freshman on your team, if, if, if any school had one freshman run a fast 5K, you'd be like, that's pretty good, right? You'd be like, wow. We oh, wait a like minute. the star freshman. Oh, is this what you're going with? This isn't eyebrow yeah, raising. It I is predicted this last too. week, and you laughed at me. You laughed at me last week when I said this. They're not going to run that. You talking about the Stanford kid running thirteen thirty four? No, I'm not talking about the Stanford kid. I'm talking about the Stanford kids. Oh, how many, dude? They, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven freshmen in the past two weeks, two weekends, three, I guess, since April second till April seventeenth. Run 1405 or faster. Bowden Roseau has run 1405. Evan Burke, 1358. Kai Robinson, 1351. Devin Hart, 1345. Thomas Bowden, 1345. Cole Sprout, 1343. Charles Hicks, 1334. Not to mention two sophomores who have run 1339 in Bulger and 1349 in DJ Principe, and a junior run 1336 in Alec Parsons. Also not to mention the NXN champ, Liam Anderson, who hasn't run yet because he might be hurt. It's insane. That, like, if you took this roster and you and you showed it to any, like, the, Colorado, the great Colorado teams in the 2000s or the great Stanford teams, in, anyway, you'd be like, this isn't normal. It's not normal that you're – Seventh best freshman is a fourteen oh five kid. That doesn't make it. That makes mm-hmm. no sense. Uh, or that your seventh best runner overall, it's like a thirteen forty five, thirteen forty nine kid. It. I just think we are seeing. And and the weird thing about it, Stanford isn't the only team that's doing this. Like Arkansas can put together a group of six plus really fast five k runners. Uh, NAU, we know, has the ability to, to do something like that. BYU, we've seen do that in multiple races where they have a bunch of guys running sub-14. We're seeing this, like, trend of mm-hmm. depth in a, within a single team that I, we've never really seen before because typically you're, they're spread out mo- across multiple teams. And I just think seeing, what did I said, seven freshmen, 1405 or faster, a total of 10 guys sub-1405. It's just crazy. It's it's eyebrow raising. That's what raised my eyebrow. Man, you love you love the men's five thousand this year. You just any I should always guess that that's where you're going with any segment. If there's any suspense, it's some factoid I mean, about the men's five thousand. I said that the Stanford guys might go to thirteen thirty two, and you're like, no, I don't know about that. And then the kid went and well, ran thirteen thirty four. That that wasn't the his running thirteen thirty four wasn't the surprising thing. It's just like when you take a step back and you look like holy crap they're ninth what, what one two three so four, what's five, it what's six, the eight, mark to get in the west runners running 1358 it's it's insane oh so what's the mark to get in the west yeah so the mark to get in the west right now is like 1358 but yeah that's without iowa states guys the oregon guys and nau guys and a couple other and some are and half of the arkansas guys so I did some more th- reimagining, and I looked at potential newcomers that have yet to run the 5K. And there's a chance the the cutoff for the 5K will be like 1343 to just to get into the prelim. Yeah, which is insane. New world, which is insane. So, uh, I mean, I got one. I got that's eyebrow raising. Eyebrow raises the depth in an individual team. And it's not just yeah. Stanford, it's NAU, it's Oregon, it's BYU, Arkansas. Anyway. 